the consciousness around food has just taken a, a complete exponential hockey stick type where everyone's questioning everything around what they put in their body. And a lot of my friends are just losing weight because they're not going out as much. Obviously, people are drinking. Well, some people are drinking more, but the, uh, I think just going out less is helping and contributing to, to weight loss. Do you guys do a lot of D to C? Have you seen during COVID the grocery store section, you know, has obviously, at least in America, is the only thing open for a long time. And so a lot of the grocery stores are just running out of, out of things. How have you guys coped? Well, COVID has been really, really tough for the bar, the bar category. So on the go, just kind of has mm. been decimated. So at, at first, you know, March, April, we started kind of looking at the numbers and then you're, we get, you know, weekly, in some cases daily, but we look at weekly sales and we're like, whoa, you know, like it kind of like the category is just down and massive numbers. And essentially it's kind of like it tumbled. And then we were like, okay, you know, come back, we're back to school and nope, you know, with kind of whatever the second wave and whatnot, like on the go really took a nosedive. So mm. we, you know, we're kind of fortunate that the, had, had the brand been a, a year younger than where we were, I think we would have been caught in this vortex where you're trying to launch a brand and you're just cut off at the knees, right? Like you, you need awareness and trial and you need to be on the shelf. You need the discovery of your bars and consumers are literally going in the stores with their mask, with their mission, with their lists. And it's like, I don't want to just, I don't want to stand at the bar shelf and see yeah. what's new and pick bars. So we're fortunate enough that we were already in 14,000 doors and we had some discovery. The brand had enough momentum or the, the strongest keto bar on the shelf were in most of the accounts that we got listed were the fastest new bar on the shelf. So we're, we're very fortunate that, you know, we're, we're kind of breaking through the clutter because a lot of new brands are going to, are going to, uh, you know, going to have a hard, really hard time launching and kind of surviving through COVID. So we're doing okay, considering the bar category has really kind of gone down and we're a new brand. Yeah. But the discovery is not is not there. You know, you you literally had thousands of consumers just go in stores and then say, okay, like let me try all these things, and that's and that allows the the bar category to do so well, and mm. um, that's not happening. Initially, it's now different, but the first six months, people just ate bread. <laughs> you know, <laughs> drank wine and ate bread. So you know, ice cream, wine and bread and bread makers, you know, we track on Google trends, you know, bread and keto, yeah. right. And, yeah. and it just yeah. did zoop, like it went like this, like wow. now it's kind of coming back. So if you just put the two, the two words in Google trend, everyone just kind of said, Oh, you know, I'm going to eat and drink. And, but now like the reality is, you know, if you have a pre-existing health condition and you catch right. COVID, you know, so so that kind of like go mm. crazy, I'm going to eat everything and maybe not your generation, but certainly a, a little bit of sure. the older generation is just like, okay, I'm eating carbs and breads. So now I think a lot of people have been touched by someone getting sick and uh, realizing that, you know, if you just kind of inhale like carbs and, and don't take care of what you're eating and you're putting on, you know, 5, 10, 15, 25 pounds is what we're hearing and then, mm. you know, there's still COVID around, like first you feel miserable and second, you know, the pre-existing conditions are really, really damaging. So now there's a, a pretty big return to, okay, I'm at home, but I still have to, you know, work extra hard to eat clean. That's a great point. Yeah. They still have to take care of themselves and be very disciplined about that more so than before. Cause now they can't escape, you know, you're literally just, and you have dogs, kids, all, all sorts of that's a good insight. I, I remember I talked to Christy who introduced us from Mother Raw. And, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things we talked about was uh, my generation in particular, we would never go into the freezer section. And I gave her the analogy or the story of like my brother-in-law, if I go to his house, you know, him and his girlfriend, uh, they just bought a new home. They're early twenties and you go in their, in their fridge and it's everything you'd expect. You go in their freezer and it's just ice. Right. And so what I was telling Christy is what's, what's been interesting and, and Google trends alerted me of this is people have been Googling like frozen milk, frozen goods, a lot more frozen bread. And so yep. what, what, what ends up happening is it's almost like this, this market, this 21 year old, 22 year old who never used the freezer is yep. all of a sudden now, you know, looking at the freezer section way more and it creates an opportunity 
and these are just fascinating things to learn, at, you know, from my perspective, I'm not in it. And so for me, I'm like, you know, what, what does the world in the future look like? Really interesting stuff. Well, the behavior shift is is massive in so mm -hmm. many instances. We bought a freezer, right, in our home. Mm. It's just like, okay, we need a small, like not a full size, uh, not the full size coffin freezer, but the half freezer because we're like, who knows what's going to happen with our food supply, and and right. then we're, we're thrilled, right? Because the shopping trips are are no longer pleasant. I yeah. I loved shopping, and it's no longer a pleasant kind That's of experience point. to go in these gorgeous stores and to try stuff all of the the you know a lot of my meals were like I lived I think I visited over 90 Whole Foods in the U.S. in the first year because we we launched and we had national distribution at Whole Foods uh, last February mm -hmm. across the country so I literally went to visit as many as I could so I kind of planned some road trips and I literally would go you know in my rental car and go up to the service and say, hi, I'm Susie. And I had my t-shirt. I'm the founder. You know, our products are on your shelf. Thank you. Thank you. Take pictures, uh, give out a free box to the staff. So I went and I kind of hit the pavement on as many stores as I could. And I would eat out of the, you know, the, the, the meal, the, the warm food bars. Mm. We're not eating out of the food bars anymore. Like they're all shut down and I don't know when that's going to reopen up. So that's the true. behaviors have really, really changed. So it's important to to adapt and to kind of make sure that we kind of keep keep on pace with the changing behaviors. It's so true. It's for me. There's a, a company we're an investor in. It's called Good Milk, and they basically make a four ingredient almond milk. So it's just almonds, water, sea salt, yep. and date, dates, all natural, super clean. And because there's nothing in it, there's no shelf life. It only lasts about seven days, and it always came in these freezer packets, and then you just add water. And that was it. And so we have like a tremendous amount of these. And so I was talking to Brooke, the founder, and she was the one that said, you know, we've never been, we've never done better because now everyone kind of to your point um, mm -hmm. around the buying freezers and you have the option to store and yep. it's mega healthy, which is great. I mean, the, I just love that the world is moving in that direction or at yep. least is aware of that. Hey everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.